Hey guys, welcome back to Ember. Today we are going to cheat at the game. Kind of, not really ish. So I've been in touch with the developers of the game trying to figure out what's going on with my fast travel and the fact that I don't have any. I have these first three and then I've explored a like, large chunk of the remaining map. In fact, at this point I've explored most of the map because I've been to Goblin Library, Ember Mines, well maybe not the mines themselves, Some I think that was actually technically a different cave. But I've been to Goblin Library and Farmlands and City of Light. I've literally crossed from end to end across what I believe is the entire game's map. Now I'm in Bog of Souls. So all that's really left is maybe Ember Mines, if that's not the cave. The Cliff of Giants, Shepherd Plains, and Pinnacle. So I should have fast travel spots by now. And what we figured out is I, I sent them my save file and they looked at that. And apparently, uh, the quest where I get Fia, the Ember I've been talking to this whole time, never completed correctly. Which, you know, obviously, like... Obviously, I did the quest because I have Fia, and what happened is there was that part where I had to re-record part of the of my playthrough. Uh, when I was re-recording it, or when I was replaying it up to the part I need to re-record because of you know you know fixed save locations, you need to go back and go back to whatever save you had and stuff. I uh, when I did the Fia quest the second time when I was doing catch up to re-record part of the game, uh, a bunch of dialogue just never happened. I walked in and. We, it skipped the whole part where she's like, uh, like, Oh, you don't remember me, do you? And all that other stuff. Like, it was just... Some scripted dialogue never triggered when I walked in, and that was a weird bug. And as a result, the quest never completed correctly, and because that quest never completed, I have basically never unlocked fast travel properly. Uh, I, I forget now, but I think you get these three ones by default at the beginning, before you even properly fully have her ability, because they demonstrate fast travel using those locations before you even get Fia, if I remember correctly. But you need her to get proper fast travel. So we're going to hit the tilde key for to open up the uh, console. And they said to type comp... Comp quest 22. There it is. You'll even remember when I was talking about... In like episode 5 or whatever, I was talking about being stuck and talking about... Uh, I was talking about uh, how, uh, how a quest didn't complete correctly. And I was like behind on experience that whole time. And stuff like that. And so that, uh, that appears to be what happened. Is I not, not only did the quest not complete correctly to give me the experience I was supposed to get, but in addition to that, I also had to deal with the fact that, uh, it didn't actually give me fast travel correctly. So, let's see, do I have fast travel now? No. So now, now the next step. Let's try saving. And loading. My own save. Is this the one? Yeah. Fingers crossed, you can now fast travel to Bog of Souls! So, confirmed, that's exactly what was wrong. Okay, cool. The good news is, Bog of Souls waypoints unlocked, I don't have to walk through a cave to get here again. Bad news is, I will have to walk to City of Light again to get that waypoint. But that said, uh, it's not the biggest game world ever, so uh, walking around on foot isn't, the, isn't a deal breaker. It's just really nice to figure out what the hell was going on here, because clearly it's a mechanic in the game, and it wasn't working, and I was wondering what the hell was happening there. Alright, let's go back to dealing with this necromancer, now that we've dealt with the little side story we had around the corner. Are you just zombies? Oh, they're zombies. That's adorable. They're so easy. Obliterate! Alright, ground smash, whirling blades. You don't have your AoE anymore, do you? Is it scorching heat? Oh, no, you, oh, never mind, you just still... Yeah, never mind. We swapped out a skill on her, and I got a little mixed up which one it was for a moment there. Alright, glad to have that problem fixed. And uh, they, they've been made aware of the problem, so ho hopefully they'll be able to find whatever went wrong. And uh, patch it so it doesn't happen anymore. I don't know. Seems like a straightforward-ish thing as far as... Uh, a problem goes where it seems to be directly caused by, like, dialogue not triggering when it's supposed to. Not that I know how easy it is to find that kind of thing, but just that the, uh... It doesn't... The, the problem itself being related to scripted dialogue not triggering properly seems like it'd be... one of the easier types of problems to fix compared to some of the other weirder problems I've encountered in video games before. Come on, slimes. Just go down. It's alright. We don't, we don't, ex it's okay, you can just give up. We don't expect much of you. You're slimes. There you go. Much easier enemies around here. Oh, empty chest. 
And it was always empty because <clears throat> it was always empty because I've never been here before either. All right, we'll see. So far, this side of the swamp's been easier than, than the other one, because of which, of course, had all those ghost mercenaries and weird demons. Yeah, that, that looks like more zombies. Oh, hello. Let's throw some throw some daggers around. Oops, let's cancel this. There we go. Almost casted a fire spell on absolutely nothing because we were in the clear. Hello. Did you just level up? Okay. Cool. Still evening up on dexterity and uh, on strength and vitality so far. Seems reasonable to me. Because he needs to be able to do deal damage to hold his weight in the party, but he also needs a bunch of health because he's the frontliner. So I've been mostly even between the two. A few skeletons shouldn't be too bad. Alright. Uh, Corrin, you had you headed in, in there. Go distract them. There we go. Oh my. That's unexpected. Okay. Well, the uh, additional enemies didn't last very long, did they? <laughs> Pretty much comes down to the swamp monster. He went down easily enough. Really, Lightbringer's taking damage. Oh, burst of burst of poison over there. That'll do it. Oh, inventory's finally full too. All right, there's a few different reasons to take a break then. We'll rest up so the party recovers after that poison burst, and then I guess I'll deal with some inventory management. There's a 7% boost. Yeah, as expected, all the zombie mobs have killed our uh, percentage of bonus lately. Let's see. Can be used for extra storage. Okay. Do I have to put stuff in it, though? Sixteen. Does this mean? Uh, let's, let's use these recipes if I can. I already have. Already know that one. Get on the ground. <laughs> There's a bit of space. If I put my wine in here. Did I lose track of it? There's ale. That does decrease the number of slots in your inventory and go into a separate bag. Odd. Huh. Honestly, I wish it didn't work this way. <laughs> I would prefer it if, uh... I would prefer it if this was just an extension to the number of slots you can have. Like, just add 16 to it instead. Because having this separate menu seems it can be a hassle. I'm also a bit concerned that, like, what if, uh... What if I pick up more carrots, for example? Are they gonna just get added to my... Are they just gonna get added to my pile in this screen, and then I have to manually move them over to the sack over and over again if I wanna make space for them? Seems like a decent place to jam all the food items, because we have so many of them. Such a variety. That's two different stacks of grapes! <laughs> I'm sure it's because one of them is more... They have, they have different amounts of foliage on them or something. But it's strange that there's two stacks of grapes still. Because they're just... Mainly because they didn't give them different names. They're just both called grapes. This is, this is... This overall is probably a little slower than it should be as far as item management goes. Okay, well now I've got extra space in my inventory. <laughs> because I put them in a bag in my inventory. That's odd. <laughs> That's odd that I, I took stuff out of my inventory to put them in a bag that's also technically in my inventory, and now I have more inventory space. This pretty much le leans into what I was talking about when I'm saying that maybe it makes more sense for that just to be additional slots added to your overall total instead. This is a strength item. Uh, appears to be the same one we already have, but with a different bonus. Friend in need, deal increased damage for 10 seconds when, it, when somebody falls, no. I don't really want to specialize in my my characters falling. I would like to give bonuses that happen uh, outside that context to help increase the chance of them not falling. That sounds like a better call to me. Die, slimes! They're all over Korra. But that, that other spot's still the central spot where all the enemies are, though. 
throw some crowd control around. Everyone gets arrows. Everyone gets arrows. Yay. There we go. Oh, you're fine. Walk it off. Everyone's fine. Bit of silver. So I can go left and right around here. Necromancer's up there on the left, so I should probably go looping around on the right first if I want to get the full experience from the area. Wrap up the dungeon, pick up any items around, and, I'll, and of course deal with the uh, side objective that's waiting over there. Looks like there might even be some tough skeletons waiting up there too. So maybe save that for last. Yeah, let's loop around here. See how that goes for us. More Black Dahlia. I'll take it. Is there silver over here? Nope. Did not call it. Just saw the yellow dot and made a gamble. Did not pay off. So what is the quest up here? A raven. Ah! Spectral shrooms. Spectral shrooms. You don't want me to find you some spectral shrooms? Right, I'll be back soon. Ah, soon. Huh. Add it. Add it, cauldron. Okay. See, they gave me a recipe, so I might as well use that. Where are we hiding recipes? Or did it get added directly to my... My thing here? Uh, probably alchemy? None of these look familiar. Cooking. No, none of those seem like they'd be the raven's thing. Other, let's see if I can... Uh, what was that? A sand silk, that's not a recipe. Um, I always forget which page these are on, too. You know what? I'm just going to do a lap. I'm just going to finish doing the lap around the area. Maybe I'll find spectral shrooms along the way. I just feel like something went wrong there, almost. I, I don't know if I'm imagining it, because they're, they're pop-ups. They just happen on the screen, and then they go away. So I don't know. I can't tell unless I stop and rewind the footage over and over again every time I'm uncertain about something. But I could have sworn that I literally had a pop-up saying that I had, like, a recipe added to my inventory from the Raven. So I was looking for a special shroom recipe. And I couldn't find it. <laughs> it's alright, skeletons. Just give up. You're all done now. There, that's a boy. That's also not how people say that. That's not that's not the correct way to say out of boys. That's a boy. <laughs> Berserk and f oh, I already know these recipes. Bummer. Just, just gonna end up dumping those on the ground. This this whole I think this whole inventory could use a revamp. All right. Oh, fish? Why not? More food. Bowstring Ember Essence. Interesting items here. Alright. I'm gonna hang out and look through all my items for a bit, because I have way too much equipment. It's one of those dungeons where every single enemy insists on dropping equipment, which is a little much at times. Let's see. We'll go through strength items first. These are garbage shields, first of all. Uh, these are all plates. Low level plate. Part of me doesn't even care about the money value just because I just want to get the uh, slots open again. Now that I know they're not going to be valuable for me. Uh, a lot of leather over here. How much going on here? This one's worth a decent amount, amount so I'll, I'll keep that around. Uh, am I accidentally highlighting people? I'm not. I do not mean to be doing that. 
So you, here's another awkward part of this a little bit, is that when you're, uh, when you're trying to rapidly drop stuff on the ground, you have to be careful not to, you, you basically have to not be too rapid with it, because if you click on any part of the ground that's not terrain you're allowed to put stuff on, like this, this hit, this, uh, pool that's not a hitbox for that stuff, it'll not be placed on the ground, and if you accidentally place it on a player, it'll try to equip it on that character. So, as far as I can tell, there's no super consistently fluid way to throw away items, basically. Mid-dungeon, of course, which is the main time it's hard. Otherwise, you're just selling everything at a vendor, which is the usual. That's also de worth a decent chunk of money. I'll keep that around. How about you guys? Whoa! <clears throat> oh, it's because they're all two-handed. And low quality. Just noticed the spike of damage and thought it was noteworthy before I saw what type of thing they were. Silver rod. It's garbage. One-handed axe. No, not really. I'll sell off the... I'll throw these ones away, keep, around, keep the valuable one around for selling later. <coughs> Got an iron longbow of poison. It's uh, lower quality than what I have right now, but it'll at least, at least sell. It's funny that these silver war bows have higher stats. Like they're, they're the ones; these are the ones that are comparable to what I'm having right now. Where this one's a lower lo level item. This one's notably less powerful, but it's because it's not crude quality. It's uh, instantly worth more than all the other items, which sell for garbage by comparison. There we go. That's some open slots. That's just a cloud of words now. <laughs> there has to be a better way to handle this kind of system in the in the game, I think. This just feels a little bit inelegant. Alright, I will now take your absurd amounts of food. Which I will then have to awkwardly move into the sack. Uh, to stack them with those items. Because I think I put it, I think I put apples and cabbages in particular into the sack already. So now I'm effectively having two separate stacks of them if I don't put them in there. Hello, Dahlia. All right. There's a fishing hole down here too. This zone seems particularly heavy on a uh, on crafting resources, doesn't it? I got a gold ring from fishing. All right. In that one moment, my character was luckier than I've ever been in my entire life. That's insane. I like to think of the cannon here, that, uh... If you look into the amount of time I spent camping, I'm, I've basically been in the Bog of Souls for, like, a week now. <laughs> Which actually makes more sense. It's funny to think about in context, because when we're looking at it here, it looks like I walked to, like, a one room over, and then and then we immediately gave up and slept again. But, you talk about the, uh, the journals we read, all of those journals talk in terms of, like, spending, like, days and days pushing deeper and deeper into the swamps. And the place that they pushed into after days of, of adventuring is, like, the same distance we cover by walking for about five minutes. And so... Based on that, you could extrapolate to think that this map is supposed to be an abstracted version of the swamp. And you could think that maybe this is an incredibly vast super swamp that goes on forever in every direction. And we're just experiencing like a micro version of it in the video game itself. That compared to what the video game, compared to what the characters themselves are experiencing. And maybe I am really spending weeks on an end here and that's why the, it feels like I have to rest so often because maybe, maybe time moves and fast forward. It actually makes a decent amount of sense, all things considered, because uh, it it fits with all the lore of all the care all the all the characters saying in their in their diaries how long they spend at a given location. Because if you take everything on the screen literally, it makes the entire adventure pretty quaint, admittedly, with with uh with how small each adventure seems and and how uh, not so massive uh, any of the big threats actually turn out to be, because they're just a few enemies. There she goes. All right. Now give me your disgusting skeleton loot. Yum yum yum.
And now that I have fast travel, I guess I could even... If I had the base set up, I could even probably warp back to there and drop off my... All my loot at a vendor and then warp back in. Although I don't know if that would respawn everybody. Because obviously I wouldn't want to... That would be an infinite loop if uh, it respawned everybody. And then I kept filling my inventory off the same mobs over and over again. A lot of potions. Are these also the same potions over and over again as before? The answer is yes. The game really wants you to have this very specific list of potions, apparently. Because they keep giving you the recipes over and over again. Admittedly, I haven't really been in a hurry to do some some of the crafting that I thought I would doing, be doing originally, because, uh... They tell you that crafted stuff is better than stuff you find, but you level decently fast, so you quickly outlevel your equipment anyway, so it's kind of convenient just to rely on what you find anyway. And, uh, I'm already having an easy enough time with the game that people are accusing me of playing on easier difficulties than I am. Like, are you playing on easy? This is too easy. It's like, no, it's just... I'm just doing alright, I guess. This is not easy mode. I can't, I can't even think of a game I've played on this channel in easy mode ever, actually. Hello. There admittedly may be a bit of a cost analysis going on where you just try to think of like, you could spend time crafting better equipment, but would it be worth the time investment? Like, would the stat increase that's temporary because you're going to just outlevel the equipment soon anyway be worth the extra time investment as opposed to, as opposed to for example just going ahead and beating the uh, next dungeon and out leveling your equipment and then getting better stuff from that up oh, it's full again in the same episode all right pulse pounding action these are all two-handed items. I should probably specifically stop picking up anything that says crude on it. Although that doesn't really entirely fit because the crude stuff can also be better. So these are all crude. My current one is crowd control. Do I want one of these other things? Fire a volley of arrows at a target location dealing damage to enemies in the area? I probably want that instead. That's, a, that's an AoE that's at an, that's at an enemy location instead of on me. Multi-shot. Fires arrows at your target, dealing damage to them and up to two nearby to enemies. Well, that, that the AOE sounds better than that. Alright. Did I just throw my thing away? I did. God damn it. Put Volley back on. I accidentally highlighted my own character, which is the thing I was talking about earlier. Alright. Sorry if somebody's thinking, is if somebody's wishing I should skip this or something. I, d I never know what to do with some of this stuff. Some people complain whenever I skip any inventory management because they have a massive hard-on for watching people in manage inventories, and other people get mad whenever they see any inventory management because why are you wasting my time? <laughs> I've learned that there's no right answer to how to do anything ever on YouTube. <laughs> what? Just get, go on the ground. There we go. Alright, there's another giant pile of loot. <laughs> They might, be, they might be overdoing it on loot density a little bit. Here we go. So I don't think I've encountered mushrooms yet, have I? I'll check my inventory again at the end, just to be sure. But I don't think I've picked any up. Maybe they'll be near the necromancer? That's a possibility. <laughs> I didn't receive spoon. I'm a terrible fisherman. Just terrible. Like... Genuinely. We should use caution here. Go, Corin! I choose you. Let's try a new volley skill. It looks that big. Pain is life, I, my you couldn't really see it very well, actually. I thought that'd be a big, obvious AOE, but you could just kind of see a vague rain of arrows and uh, some damage popped up. You kind of had to infer how big it was. There we go. That will happen a lot. We're just about looped around. Oh, more silver. I may craft something when I get back with all the silver I've got. Just to see what I can get away with. Unfortunately, I do feel like a lot of our recipes have been for alchemy and not for crafting so far that I've been finding. So I don't, don't actually... Let's check. Do I even have a recipe for, like, really good... 
weapons or something. I guess it would be. I guess it'd be woodworking, right, for a bow. These are just scepters. There's level nine stuff in here. There's a level nine robe. There's one level nine silver mallet in here, but most of the stuff is uh, level five and one. Yeah, I haven't had luck with that. I've had a ton of different. I have constant alchemy drops for recipes, but it's these uh, schematics for crafting stuff is actually kind of uncommon. The silver mallet's a one-handed weapon that gives you 100 average damage. Let's compare that. This one has 90. Okay, so that mallet is presumably made of silver because it's just flat out called silver in its name. So I guess if I made that, that'd be that'd be an upgrade over what uh, Corrin's using using right now. So that's one. But uh, yeah, there's not a lot of. Haven't had a lot of luck finding a lot of, uh, large quantity of silver recipes yet. Oh, I clicked on them directly. There we go. I meant, I meant to click past them just to have give Corrin a lead start at running in before the fight started. All right, activating those AOEs. And we're clear, more or less. Bye, Swamp Slime. That'll teach him to mess with us. Will it though? He taught him a lesson by literally ending them. Silver Axe of Frenzy. Is that gonna be two-handed? Don't be two-handed. It's one-handed. Oh, but it's like the same weapon I already have, basically. Nah. -uh. Replace replace deep cut with wild swings, which is uh. Let's see, swing your weapon wildly, dealing damage to your target and low damage to nearby enemies. So it's a cleave. Plus 1.1 average damage. Very tiny bonus average damage. So not that much better. Unfortunately. Not as good as we'd get if we craft the 100 damage one. And I kind of like my spinning attack. I mean, I kind of I like deep cuts. and don't really want to lose that one. It seems to do decent damage to individual targets when I want it to. Alright, that's the loop complete. More or less, yeah. I uh, don't think I found spectral shrooms. I really hope I'm not losing my mind here. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm losing my mind. The way I'm talking about these shrooms and their presumed existence and my inability to detect them when the game seems to almost act like I have them. Like, the... The, the, the crow is flat out saying, put them in. Which almost seems to indicate I have them already, which is also weird. Um, key items. Is there anything weird in here? Spectral shrooms! Was that here earlier? I don't know. Did I just put them in the cauldron? What? You don't put them in the refinery? Why is the refinery? Do you, do you make spectral shrooms? Is there is that what the recipe? I don't know. Anyway, slime extract, muddy mandrake, swamp root, flower rock. I don't know if I had that earlier or if I picked it up. It's fine. The important thing is it's over. The important thing is I ultimately figured it out. <laughs> you need more ingredients? I'll see what I can do. Slime extract, muddy mandrake, swamp root, flower. Okay. Sw slime extract, muddy mandrake, swamp root, flower. Do, do, rock! I get the feeling this person's gonna transform. Slime extract. Muddy mandrake. What? Do I put it here? This must be why this is here. What? Is there any looking for swamp root flower in here? I don't see it. The key items are over here. Maybe I'm just not done yet? Swamp root flower. Maybe it's up by the, uh... Oh. Nope, it's up there. I apparently walked past it. I missed the one object in the party. Alright. Yeah, I will concede that I probably had... I probably had the mushrooms in my inventory the first time around, but they were... 
I was probably looking too hard for them in the consu in a, the category of the inventory that has all of your plants in it and not the quest item section. That's probably what was going wrong there. Because the uh, waypoint was already pointing at the cauldron, which seems to imply that I didn't ha I already had what I needed. Oh, hi. Uh, Lightbringer, Korra, let's back away. Oh, there's lots of you guys. Lightbringer, let's take cover here. Just try to get him to get proper attention here. All right, cool. We'll see what I can do. Things might get nasty. That's a that's a straight up mob attacking over there. I can patch him up a bit. We'll keep whirling blades. There we go. Now there's fewer targets attacking at once, so we'll be we'll be much better off. Oh, and it's over. Not too bad. Another strength ring. That might be good. Bolster sounds like it'd be useful. Dance, uh, psych up. Heal for a small amount when entering combat. Not terrible. Is Kurt gonna psych up? Increased dodge chance and... Nah, yeah, do increased dodge chance is better for tanking, I think. Admittedly, I also don't know how much the small amount of healing is. But for, dur during, for particularly tough fights, though, I'll probably be entering with full health. So I would probably preemptively rest. So having just... Having more passive, non-conditional upgrades to my characters, such as an increased dodge chance, seems more immediately useful than having more bizarre effects like things that happen at the beginning of combat or things that happen when people die. Alright. No? Do I, am I supposed to use this guy? Do I just need to talk to you? Rock, add them, add them! Okay, that was... My order of operations is wrong. Here we go. Eye of Raven, or Toad, Eye of Toad. I hope this is the last thing you'll need. Rawr, last. We're somehow on the same on the same channel as this guy. Eye of Toad, it's also up in the corner where I've already been. I'm gonna go ahead and rest. It feels very likely that I'm about to get attacked by a giant toad monster or something. Seems like this would end with the fight. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll also save. There we go. Rule of three is it's it's the third uh, third objective of the of the quest in a row. Often ends with oh hi skeletons. Uh, you're really messing with the part where I'm trying to go in here fully rested. Oh you bastards! You're swarming us. So I'll swarm you. We'll back up with Lightbringer a bit. All right, we'll be fine. This isn't so hard. And it looks like I'll be able to get away with taking out too, without taking too much damage over the course of this fight. I want to be ready for this presumed toad, but I also don't want to spam resting necessarily. We good? How much? Let's see. That's crude. Let's just leave these guys. If I keep, if I loot everybody, it's just gonna give me more homework, basically, in a moment. When I have to put it all back down. Crude and ragged. You keep your garbage items. Hello, weird barrels. Uh, that's a lot of barrels. Die, barrels. Oh. I wanna just blow them all up. Ooh. How did I miss this thing? I think I walked past this, and it's like full of useful objects. Because I have Toad. But pretty much everything here is useful. I think. There's healing potions, there's ember essences. Alright. I think I walked past that, unless that, I don't know, maybe the, maybe the quest spawned it in that moment. But I think I just didn't walk into that particular corner. Alright. We've learned to talk to him first. Oh, Korn's, uh, Korra's level 13. Cool. Rock at it! Go ahead and put her points into intellect real quick. Alright. Last one, I have Toad. 
Rock, complete, complete, rock. Oh, great. Now, what is it, my little friend? What does it do? Yeah. And we summoned a witch named Gertrude. I should have seen that exact situation coming, honestly. Oh, finally, I'm me again. You're the best. I was worried no one would come by to help me. What? That raven was you. Yes, I was experimenting with a new brew from the ingredients here in the bog and accidentally transformed myself into a raven. Silly me. At least the experiment wasn't a complete failure. I learned how to turn people into ravens and then back again. Thanks for helping me make the reversal potion. It was quite difficult maneuvering with the beak and claws. I'm sure you only have good intentions for such a thing. For such a thing. Of course. Anyways, I owe you something, my junior apothecary. Here, take one of my spare hats. Thanks, friend. Oh, by the way, I have some potions and things you might be interested in. Uh, let's see your wares. Sell all treasure and junk. Just get that out of the way right now. There we go. That's some extra slots filled up. Filled up. I've also got these uh, garbage items to sell that I was keeping around for the money. That's the wizard hat. Let's compare. Get light heal instead of dispel. I think I would prefer that actually. Oh. Oops, sorry, wrong character. So it's an applicable item, but it has light heal instead of dispel. Yeah. I'll put that on. Give another character a heal. Whoa, where did you come from? <laughs> Whoa, where did you come from? I just turned you into a human, dummy. Your contextual dialogue is crazy, game. It doesn't reflect who I'm talking to at all. For shame. <laughs> So many crafting items. Oh my goodness. At this point, I should just find a nice chest. Now that fast travel is working better in particular, I should just find a nice chest maybe in uh, Korra's room or something and just dump my crafting items there over time just to make sure that I don't have to, uh, don't have to keep track of them. Oopsie. Because uh, they do take up a lot of space. There's so many variations of plants. <laughs> Let's see, so... These are dex, dex rings, intellect rings, strength. Okay, so... The, uh... Dexterity rings I don't think I want. Strength rings... No. We've been over those ones. Oh, but the intellect ring is stronger. Even if friend in need is not great, the intellect bonus is worthwhile. So let's put that on. Plus four intellect. I prioritize stats first and then special effects after that. that. There we go. So we're down to 54 slots used. That's good. She sells decent healing potions. They're expensive though. You want the, you want a stronger healing potion. You get five of these, it costs me two grand. So that's not that's not ignorable. Let's see. I wonder if I should buy a stack of these right here. The flasks so I can craft potions. Let's do that. I feel like I don't normally have a bunch of crafting material. I, like, I feel like I have a bunch of plants I'm gathering, but I don't always have a ton of flasks. Yeah, I only had six a moment ago. Now I have 46. So now when I want to craft recipe uh, potions, I'll actually have the materials for it. Alright. One more side quest done. 